I'm back in the shop working on the YJ. Today's project for this 93 Jeep YJ is to put a soft top on it. Uh, this Jeep came with a hard top, but actually, sad story, when I was towing it home the very first time, which was, geez, probably three years ago now, uh, the top wasn't bolted down and blew off the back of the Jeep on the way home. Luckily, we were able to save it enough and found somebody that wanted it and got rid of it. But since then, the Jeep has had no top on it at all. Not usually a problem in sunny California, but we're actually in the winter season of California, which just means it rains a lot. We don't usually get a lot of rain every year. This year, we're getting a ton of rain. And in order for it to go back outside, uh, I need to get a top on it. And luckily, I had ordered a top for it. I have a best top super top in a box here um, and I never got around to putting it on and today we're going to put, put this top on this Jeep because one of you is going to get a hold of me and say I love this Jeep and I got to buy it as my first rig. I'm really hoping there's some kid out there somewhere that's been saving up their money and is like I want to go four-wheeling and they're like this would be the perfect candidate. It's got a four-cylinder, it's got a five-speed manual, it's super simple, it's got a roll cage for safety, little 31-inch mile stars so it has some fun traction tires when you go four-wheeling and overall it's a great starting point. YJs are really really good Jeeps. Even though I get all weirded out about the square headlights, they're actually probably better than all of the CJs because the frames are really nice, uh, the engines are usually pretty good, and it's a good starting point to build into a fun trail rig. So um, today we're going to get this soft top on this Jeep so that one of you can come drive it home. So in this box there is the some bracketry that is gonna to attach to the back of the tub. Uh, there's also these bows, which are the parts that kind of go up and support the soft top. And then there's the fabric portion, which is the soft top portion itself. Now this portion is, the trick to the soft top is you wanna install it when it's warm. Um, the shop is not cold, but it's not warm. So I'm gonna take this section out of the box. I'm gonna take it into my office where the dogs are hanging out and let it get warmed up. Once it's warm, it's a little bit more easily pliable. Um, it's easier to make it stretch into the corners to get it all tight. So this is going into the shop or into the office to get warmed up. And then we'll come back and we'll start installing all of this bracketry. While the fabric's inside warming up, we're gonna put all the bracketry on the YJ. Uh, the very first step is to measure from the windshield back to this edge of your Jeep tub. The reason you do this is because if the windshield is too far close or far away, the top won't fit right. You want 75 and an eighth, which I am right at. Um, and you're gonna do this on both corners. If for some reason, the windshield is too far or too narrow and you have to adjust it. Right underneath the roll bar pad right here, there are bolts and you loosen these up and then you can stretch this segment. It's, it's a slotted hole and you can kind of tap it a little bit and push the windshield forward just a hair or back just a hair. So this one is good. Next step, we're gonna put the framework up on the top of the windshield. The next step is to bolt down the windshield retainer uh, piece. This is basically a thin sheet metal piece that has a groove in it. That groove is where the soft top will actually sit on the very front edge. So this will bolt down to the windshield frame. The soft top will slide into that and then fold back over and pull tight. This is a pretty important part of it because you don't want your, your soft top to peel off. Um, usually the way you do this is you set this up here and mark the holes and drill them. My windshield has actually already been drilled in the past for some sort of soft top or maybe a bikini top. So hopefully I can just reuse those holes. Let's see if these screws fit in there. Yep, perfect. So we will install these and the holes in the top of this are slotted. 
So I'm gonna get them all started first. And there's actually two pieces. There's one for each side. Get this side on next. Perfect. All right, the next step is these windshield flanges. They go on the end of the windshield frame and you're gonna have four slotted holes along it. You can see those holes right there. You're gonna want to mark on the windshield where a screw can go in and then pre-drill a little pilot hole for each of those. You wanna make sure that this isn't on here so low that it touches the door. You want the door to still be open, but these holes are slotted. So if you mark the middle of the hole, you'll have a little bit of adjustment up and down. There we go. We'll drill those and screw them in. On the back of the Jeep, there are these rails that basically bolt right on top of the tub. Uh, and then there's a back piece that goes in this back corner. Most of the Jeeps that I've seen already have uh, the holes drilled for this. And then the best top kit comes with these fasteners. You're gonna have this little kind of nut plate, threaded plate. That'll go underneath. And then uh, these Phillips head screws will drop down through. And so you just have to kind of fish this up in here and then reach down in there and it will, because the tub kind of comes up and then has a flat spot, hidden spot, you don't have to get a wrench up in there. This nut plate, once it's threaded in, it will not twist and it will lock it in place. So the way this is gonna work is this will bolt down and then there's a little lip down here at the bottom that'll run all the way around and then around the corner. And that's where the soft top will come down and actually feed up underneath there. And that's what holds it in place. And then if there's rain or anything, it'll run off and down onto the ground. Next, we need to assemble the bows. The bows are the part that will actually kind of support the top when it's back over the back of the Jeep. And it's pretty simple. Uh, they just have some like push buttons on the tubes and they all slide together. You just gotta get everything lined up and then slide them in, push in the tabs on each one and then come on now then those push tabs will pop out on either side and lock it in place next all of this will go up into the back of the jeep So inside these side rails, there's sort of a C-channel and on these bows at the end, you can see there are some tabs that will slide inside that C-channel. So the next step is to get all of this up in here and then feed it into that C-channel. This part's a little tricky because you wanna do both sides simultaneously 
and get it all to slide together. It's probably, it would probably be easier with two people. Actually, it's going together pretty good. Those two go in, those two go in, and then all of this will slide forward. So this is how it will ride if you have it folded down, but we're not gonna have it folded down. We're gonna stand this piece up and get it all in place. So once the bows are slid into that C channel, you're gonna flip this up and this portion, this like long flat bar section will go forward. It actually might be easier to do this from the back here to bring both sides up. And then this end has a round hole slot and that will actually slide over that little tab on the end of the windshield and lock into place. There you can see kind of that keyed hole. I'll slide over and lock into place. Once we've done both sides, then this section will stand up here. Now we can finally go get the soft top, drape it over the whole thing. All right, this soft top has been sitting in my office getting warmed up. I think the dogs were actually sleeping on it. Um, and because it's warmer now, it's a little bit more pliable, which is what we want. On the, this is actually the front section of the soft top. This is the part that'll be over the driver and passenger seat. And there's a hard plastic piece that's literally sewn into the soft top. And that is what will go in the front uh, at the top of the windshield in that strip that we mounted there that has the, the channel. It'll slide into that channel. So <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over and set it up on top of the Jeep. So we kind of need to unfold all of this back across the, oh, it looks like the windows are all laying inside here. So we'll get those out so they don't get scratched up. The other thing is on the inside of the top, there are a bunch of snaps. You can see them here, um, you can see them there. And then the bows also have matching snaps as well as the side piece. So once we, we're gonna start up front at the windshield and just work our way back. So we're gonna get that plastic piece in the front C channel and then work our way back, snapping all those pieces to the bows and along the sides. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put this 
propane heater in the back of the Jeep. The fabric, because the shop is kind of cold and damp today, the fabric's not really stretching. So I'm gonna put this in here, turn it on, just get a little bit of radiant heat inside. Hopefully that'll loosen up the fabric just enough that it can all stretch and I can get all of the windows in, all the zippers started and everything snapped into these grooves. Usually you'd wanna do this like on a sunny day outside, let it sit in the sun and really soften up. But because it's the middle of winter and it's raining, we're gonna do it this way. There it goes. Everything's starting to come together once it kind of got a little bit warmer. It's all coming together. It's fighting me but that's just because this fabric is kind of cold. Now there's one more piece. This piece goes across the bottom of the back window. There's kind of a tube structure that it ties into. It slides in like this. And then the rear snaps in and the window zips down. I also find that it's kind of handy if you have a, like a hook type tool to gently work the, the zippers into place. get this thing out of there. One last step is the upper windows for the half doors. These have three rods that are on the back side, the inside. And the door has three holes that run down the top of it. Um, the front pin is longer than the other two, so it usually makes sense to start with that one and kind of get it lined up and working in and then get the other two and it'll drop right on there. Now there is a similar piece of metal lip along the bottom of the door here that you will want to wrestle the fabric down into and that will keep it sealed up along the bottom. Look at that. The YJ has a top now, it can go out in the rain. Uh, you definitely want to install one of these on a sunny day or in a heated shop. Using the heater inside made it come together, but it's also a little precarious. You don't want that thing to fall over, especially if you have carpet or back seat or any of that stuff. So be careful if you use a propane heater to try to soften up the top. Overall, pretty easy install. And now the YJ has a roof on it. So one more step closer to having it ready to find a new owner. If you're interested in this Jeep, send me a message. Uh, that's it for this Dirt Daily. We'll see you guys next time.